So if I start my racket in front, it comes around and goes out there. It goes pretty well. Pull your racket back into your body when you strike. So there, I get a pretty good power hit. Ball up in the front corner here, there. It'll be a full extension loop swing drive where the racket's out in front of my body most of the time. Um, it's exceptional for a volley. So if you have a volley out here, you start your racket out there and then that will happen. So here, there, and it will go through there. The other thing that it does, gives me deception. Deception's amazing, because there, there, that boast is just like a weapon. So I'm around about there, about 45 degrees. If I go about 45 degrees, there, there, that's me, that's on the money. Second bounce, back wall, power, target hit, everything really good, everything fully comfortable, everything really easy, just phenomenal. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed it. That is your backhand. Loop swing drive, awesome result, awesome outcome. Get into it, it just takes all the stress off your body. It's a wonderful way to hit you. Gary Peterson here today, we're gonna to take a look at a loop backhand swing. Now, your standard backhand drive will be around here and it'll be around this way. So it will go, and that will be pretty cool. So that generally that's pretty good, but what a loop forehand, a backhand swing is, sorry, is a more of a pendulum swing. So pendulum swings are amazing. Pendulum swings are awesome. So that means your racket goes down the floorboard more and comes out. So if I start my racket in front, it comes around and goes out there. It goes pretty well. Can't catch it as well as I can on the forehand side, this one. Yeah, so basically by pushing a racket out towards the sidewall, bringing it in and swinging through here, it's a low prep, but it's also a power hit because you can actually pull your racket back into your body when you strike. So there, I get a pretty good power hit and you use this a lot on a full extension drive. So if I put the ball up in the front corner here, there, It'll be a full extension loop swing drive where the racket's out in front of my body most of the time and it works extremely well. Like you can really work against, work against your balance of throwing your racket out and bringing it in. So it works really well. And the bonus of having relative power here, there, and having the strike there is really quite good. So it goes really, really well. Um, it's exceptional for a volley. So if you have a volley, out here, you start your racket out there, and then that will happen. So here, there, and it will go through there. So there, out there. So it works, it's extremely consistent, it's really good, and it's really, really capable, and really, really comfortable. So the trick, the trick is, if you want to develop a general backhand loop swing drive, which is a really consistent outcome, if you can start with your wrist back this way, so I often get people to start with their wrist pointing towards the top corner. So generally for a backhand drive, we'll have this wrist pointing this way and that'll give you about 15% more power. So that one there, there, we'll go there and that hits the camera, but never mind. And that's pretty cool. But if I want a loop swing, I can actually drop it over this way, which is a little bit strange. You don't have to go that far, but that's a long way. How about if I go back that way? So if I keep, keep my record back, back this way, and I watch myself on video every now and then, and I notice that I do this a bit, which is back there, so that's there, because it gives me that power and that control and that ability to really, really direct the ball really well. The other thing that it does, gives me deception. Deception's amazing, because there, there, that boast is just like a weapon. It's just phenomenal. The other thing it does here, there, It'll give you a cut drop, cut drop, so like a half drop, drive, nothing, half pace, tight, fast, little short shot. That's really consistent that if you're under a bit of pressure and you want to get it in, but you don't want to do this, and hopefully it goes in. You just want to attack the ball with a sharp body here, there, there, and just put it in nice and neat and keep it relatively tight. It's a pretty good option. It works really, really well. So dropping a racket over that way, I'll, ex I'll extensu extenuate it as far as I can now. So I'll push the racket down to the floor. So the, that's the hitting face there. So I've really gone over the back. So if I go that way there, it gives a bit of power. It's not very good because I don't normally do it. That's a bit too far for me. But 
that's only me. That might suit some people. So I don't coach everybody the same. Some people can handle that, some can't. So I'm around about there, about 45 degrees. If I go about 45 degrees, there, there. That's me, that's on the money. Second bounce, back wall, power, target hit, everything really good, everything fully comfortable, everything really easy, just phenomenal. How about back foot? If I go from there, it'll give me power. It'll give me power off my back foot. So I'm gonna angle it that way, 45 degrees there, there, and it will give me that. So it gives me that power that I need off the back foot because the back foot becomes tough to get power and you need that body structure and the one hand against the other and all the good bits to work. And when that happens, then it gets seriously good. So I can't emphasize enough, you don't need the high prep, you don't need all this. And drop of racket and everything's wonderful, but if you get flick of racket, which is what you can get off backhand really well there, then it's pretty phenomenal. It just works really, really well. So I'd run with that as much as I can. So I'm gonna do a lot more of that, 45 degrees prep, out towards the side wall. Well, maybe out towards that way a little bit. And there it goes. And I just love it because there, there, that's not the best shot in the world, but it went straight and it went to target relatively. And that was, that was a bad one. So that's all right. So I put that there, here, 45. That's just starting to get some serious venom on it with a cold ball, but it's pretty good. All right, so there you go. The backhand loop swing. Get into it, you can push your racket over to the side. Well, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that, and you don't have to do that, and you don't have to do that. Keep everything in front of your body, drag it in a little bit, push it out, and the finish up happens that way. So we'll just have a look at that for a sec. There, there. I'll push it out that way, out that way. And so the whole swing, is like an inside out swing. That should have been better, but there. And once again, there it goes. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. That is your backhand. Loop swing drive, awesome result, awesome outcome. Get into it, it just takes all the stress off your body. It's a wonderful way to hit as you get older.